In this lecture, we continue our study of state income tax nexus by examining the special case of cliques and mortar groups. The objectives of this lecture are to understand when an online seller has nexus in a state as a result of the activities of a store in a state when those stores are owned and operated by a related company and to understand some of the ways in which states attempt to tax the income of out-of-state companies with affiliates in the state when those out-of-state companies do not have nexus in the state. First, let's set up a fact situation. Clothes Inc. is a clothing retailer that owns and operates clothing stores in state A. In this fact situation, Clothes.com Inc. is an online retailer of clothing. Clothes.com is operated from premises in state B and does not itself have any physical presence in state A. In this fact situation, Clothes Inc. owns all of the stock of Clothes.com. Clothes Inc. and Clothes.com Inc sell similar and in some cases the same clothing and this fact is known by the customers of the two companies. Clothes Inc. and Clothes.com Inc. also use similar trade names and trademarks. Given this fact situation, is the presence of Clothes, clothes Inc. stores in State A attributed to Clothes.com? for purposes of determining whether Clothes.com has state income tax nexus in State A. The effect of the presence of related company stores in a state is unclear for state income tax purposes. Unlike sales and use tax nexus, this general question has not been addressed much. We can probably employ some of the same reasoning related to sales and use tax nexus discussed at length in chapter 14 in connection with nexus for state income tax purposes. Nexus resulting from the activities of related companies has been explored to a limited extent where a related company employs its intangibles in a state, but these rulings are not necessarily helpful when intangibles are not involved. Even where there is no nexus in a state, the states have methods of taxing an out-of-state company where a related company has nexus in the state. A common method of taxing an out-of-state company is to use the is to require companies to use combined reporting. Under this method, if two companies constitute a unitary group, then the net income of both companies is apportioned to a state if one of the companies has nexus in the state. In the case of the use of a related company's intangibles in a state, the state may deny the in-state company deductions for the use of the intangibles.